about the Hanson Technology Center? All right, well, it's actually a new center. It incorporates a lot of the equipment in the industry for the technological, technological industry, but um, I, I like it because it uses a lot of the equipment that's out there that a lot of the companies use. And I actually checked in a couple different colleges and I picked LMC because they're in touch with the local community. They have uh, job placement services, they have apprenticeships, which told me they're in tune with what the industry wants. Not just off theory, which is one of the other colleges I was looking at. I asked them about job placement and said, well, we'll help you, we'll show you where it's at. I said, well, I can get a phone book, I can get Google. But yeah, but they're actually in tune with what the industry is looking for. But I have several friends in the industry and they have several apprentices that already work there. Awesome. How has your involvement in the Hanson Technology Center benefited you personally? Oh, personally? Well, I'm actually retired and I'm starting my second career. And uh, I've been going through the program, I'm supposed to graduate here next semester, but uh, I got hired on at Whirlpool for the engineering side and I'm not even on the, the degree yet. So I'm actually released right now from work to come here to finish out my degree. So they hired me without even being done. Wow. So this is your second career. Yes, it is. I, I can tell that you're really excited and passionate. Why would you recommend this program for, for other students? Well, like I said, it's, it's not theoretical. It's, it's actual what the industry is looking for. I mean, they're hands-on. They, the companies are involved. I mean, you can actually see some of the higher-ups from the companies here at times. Last week, had a, a guy from the pipe fitters union with the welding class and giving a little spill on what they're looking for. Man, it's, they're so in touch with the industry locally. It's just, it's awesome. That's why I'm here. Great. <laughs> and you graduate soon, you said. What, what do you, how do you plan to use this? I'm already using it. <laughs> I'm using a Whirlpool. I'm doing the engineering graphics out there. And um, I like it. It's good stuff. I mean, it, it definitely worked. <laughs> well, I think that's really inspiring that you're taking this new initiative in, in your career, even when you're retired. I think that's awesome. So. Now, that's why they asked me, what are you doing? You're retired. What, why are you working? <laughs> oh, Lon only gets so mowed. <laughs> The technology yeah. is. Can we touch on that just a little bit? Certainly. Not to me. <coughs> I understand. I understand. But uh, one of the components here is I got hired on the engineering side because so I understand the machining process, what it's going to take to get a product out of some of the machines, out of the equipment. Because if you engineer it and it can't be made, then what's the point? So you got to know the processes to be able to engineer it. So. And it works great, like I said, that they have what the industry has and what they use. So it's worked out great. I'm trying to think of other questions. Um, second career. Yes. <laughs> Why a second career? Just because? That's what I like to do. Just it really is. I originally just got into it because it's stuff I like to do, the machining side of stuff I always wanted to try. But um, it's something I've just always wanted to do. And, Oh wait, we're in a community where it's prevalent. <laughs> it's everywhere. Would you say that this is one of your greatest passions? Yes, I have a lot of fun at it. And ask my instructors, they can tell. <laughs> they have to kick me out. <laughs> I got yeah. tuition and rent. <laughs> it's really just because that's what I wanted to do. Okay. I've got two other degrees and I don't use either. <laughs> so this one I actually like to do. My one's in criminal justice, and I did that for a couple of years as a cop, and it's just not for me, getting lied to every day, and yeah. So you feel like this is more of your passion? Yes. This is more like a, what I like to do, yes. Was it something about maybe like the age of, I guess, going into age groups? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm older than most of my teachers. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> in other words, to get the message out to people that it's not just for like high school, just community. Oh, yeah. Right. <clears throat> All right, yeah, I was kind of surprised to see that some of my fellow classmates are actually still in high school. They're getting college credits while they're going to high school. And of course, you got people like me, the other end of the spectrum, 
there's actually another one in my class too. Well, only, it's only a class of six, but he's, he's a retired engineer. Doing the same thing, just enhancing his skills to move on, to try bigger and better things. But there's a wide diversity of ages throughout the classrooms. It's, I mean, both ends, high school to senior citizens, <laughs> literally. What is it like working with that diverse age group? Well, it's definitely, you can definitely see the different trains of thought you know, as far as being more self-motivated and needing someone to push you, push you along, especially when it comes to some of the online classes you got to take to help you with your knowledge on the machines. A little, you can you can see the more grown up, if you will, more experienced, just want to get it done quicker, and you don't have to chase after them. To try to get the work done. You can see the instructors going after it all the time and. They'll actually say, well, not to worry about you guys. You guys are doing good, but you guys, and it's usually the same. I don't want to stereotype it, but the younger, the more pushing they need, more motivating they need. I'm sure you've been a great influence for them, too. Well, I'd like to think so. <laughs> I'm the old man in the class, so one of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and a uh, multiple a majority of the classes, you, you really don't have any problems getting in with the teachers. They they actually have the time, and the biggest thing, they have the heart. They want you to learn. They don't sit in their offices and whatnot. They're out there on the machines, and helping the students learn the machines, learn how to use them, and uh, they're readily available. There's I nearly can't think any. Time really been bogged down, just waiting for some help. And how has their support really benefited you? I mean, you said that they're going the extra mile. Has that been instrumental in your? Oh, here? definitely, definitely. Because you know, if you're if you're stagnant behind a machine, just waiting for instruction or trying to get the drawings done up, and you're just waiting for help, and you can tell if an instructor is not motivated. You can just you can you can see it. You can feel the the aura about it. And it affects your motivation in the classroom and in the shop. And you can, you can tell their heart's in it. They really want you to learn. So they give you the advice. They take the extra time with you to push you along, to get you where they need you. <laughs> Well, a lot of these kids are taking the classes thinking, oh, I'm going to get a job, going to get a job. Now, nobody really knows what they want to do, you know, especially coming out of high school. Look at me, I'm starting a new career. But I'd, I'd tell them, get some of the basics, get a feel for it. Like your general ed, you're going to need that either, either way, no matter what career you get into. So definitely get that going. And get a taste for them some of these classes, you know, and try your... IT, your engineering, your the machine shop, and uh, CNC welding. Just just try them and see if you got a feel for it. And if something you really like to do, you got a knack for. By all means, go to the advanced courses. They still follow on as electives, but at general ed, you're definitely going to need that, no matter what you get into. So, algebra's coming. <laughs> Um, I, I got a very mechanical mind, if you will, very logical, but uh, if you're going to tell me how to use a machine versus me using the machine, using it's definitely going to sink in. Tell me, it's going to be like, whew, what? <laughs> switch, what switch, what button, what panel, what? And you get out there and put your hands on, you get that muscle memory going, you get, it just becomes routine. So and then you can move on to the larger steps, you know, to stack up onto it. It builds onto it. So definitely need the hands-on. I mean, a classroom has its place. 